Here we are working on my 1974 VW Beetle Type 1. Just took the chassis off the body and wanted to do a walkthrough on some of the connection points and bolts since uh, this year is a one-off year and their videos on YouTube didn't really explain it as well because there was a couple of wires and bolts that weren't here on the ones I found so just wanted to post this for people and help out. So first thing you have to do is take out the gas tank, um, take it off, you have your fuel sensor and wire, your all that stuff. So I put blue tape on everything that I was taking off just so that I would know where it would go when it went back. Um, I will be rewiring this whole car because they have a rat's nest sitting in here, probably been rewired for the past 40 years. So uh, once you get the gas tank off, it'll give you access to a lot in here that you have to disconnect to be able to uh, get the chassis off of the body. First are going to be these two, the major bolts. Uh, I think they're 17 millimeters. You need to take these both off. Uh, coming through the bottom, since you have the gas tank out, you'll take these off. Okay, you'll be master cylinder right, master cylinder left. Um, these go into the top, and we'll show you on the back when we get to the chassis. You also have your control wires come into the master cylinder, so you'll have to disconnect both of these. Um, most of the wiring in here I'll be taking apart and redoing since um, it's all been rusted. <laughs> And when we get to the chassis, I'll walk the rest in here, but that's the major thing you can see from here is the control uh, for master cylinders, your two bolts right here, uh, and the fuel tank, of course. So we'll get to the inside. You have to take the seats off. I'll walk through the seats for a half second once we get back there, just to tell you how to take them off. Um, big thing's gonna be on the back. You gotta take these two bolts out, okay? Um, mine didn't have it. It looks like it had rusted through already. There was another bolt in the rear uh, transmission or to the side of the transmission going into the um, suspension, but I think it had rusted out or wasn't there anymore. So, but get these two and two on that side. I took the seat belts out thinking they might have been connected and they weren't, so no worry about that. Um, on the front, you'll take the steering wheel off. All you have to do is take out two bolts here on the bottom. Okay, this one and that one and of course all the quick disconnects and then there'll be the two wires in here it looks like it was to the uh, windshield wiper fluid it goes to the side you'll take those off once you do that there's a bolt down to the chassis where it connects up you'll i jiggled it a little bit uh, put some lubricating oil on it was able to pull it right through and uh, take it off 74 you have this nice wire coming through and this is your seat belt wire so it tells you if your seat belts are connected or not so just uh, pull the seats. When you pull the seats, these will be under there. It's one little screw through the middle of these guys. Okay. Uh, the other ones are quick disconnects. And of course, there was a ground that I just cut uh, to pull it off. But you'll pull this whole thing off in one uh, section. So, um, also on the back, these are your battery cables going through. I had to cut mine because it was a welded, but that's fine. I'll put a new connector on it when we get done. Um, and then these also went through to the battery, so I just pulled those off. Um, on the back side here, you do need to either take these tubes off, these are the heater tubes, or pull the wires or something, because a wire will connect the body here to the chassis. If you don't pull it off, it, this little wire goes through a um, metal tube and it will hang up you taking off the chassis. So. Let's walk to the back. Here's your bolt through, a main one. Goes into your rear, uh, right above the axle. You'll see it on the back. Um, take that one off. I think that was a 17 millimeter also. Uh, I took the engine out first, so I didn't want to deal with the weight. I uh, thought it was a good idea. That way it also allowed me to take off all these connectors and everything beforehand so that I didn't have to worry about that uh, when I actually dropped the chassis. So. Let's go to the back. Here's the chassis. Just spent a little bit of time pressure washing it to see what's rust and what's not. Pretty much the whole thing's rust. <laughs> Let's uh, go here. Here's your master cylinder. Those tubes I showed you up front just connect here to the top. I'm going to replace this whole thing. Also, you have your wires are going to go in here, one and two. So those will need to come off as I showed you in the front. When you get here to these, these actually don't connect to anything here. 
So you don't have to worry about that like you do in the back. Uh, here's your steering wheel. There's a little U-bracket sitting right here, a pinch bracket. You'll have one bolt through. Uh, it's pretty rusted. Sprayed a bunch of um, liquid wrench on it. Let it sit for a couple of days and then was able to just jiggle it and get this thing off. So it just pulls straight off and you can get that out. On the sides by the kick panels around on your right, uh, just next to the passenger side and on the driver's side you have these wires coming out you do need to disconnect them they usually are sitting up against here and come through and wrap around and they go into the little vents for the heater since they connect to both you do have to disconnect them there'll be one here and one here these connect per disconnect pretty easy just undo that one screw pull the wire out on this side and then put the screw back I did strip mine out. I knew I wasn't putting heat in uh, again when I put this car back together. So uh, if you do want to keep heat, you might want to be a little more careful than I was because you'll see at the end of mine, we're all unraveled since it's got a little bit of a spring in it. So uh, back to the chassis, working from front to back, you'll have four of these bolts, one here, one here, and two over there. They go into what people would call the Napoleon's hat, uh, this, this piece. So they bolt up from the bottom, 17 millimeters. Uh, they connect up to a little bracket here on the top. And uh, I just sprayed a little bit of liquid wrench in there. You can't get to the top. So if yours were rusted like mine were, uh, this is all covered by the body. So I just drilled a little hole right here with a metal screw or a metal bit and enough to put my liquid wrench little hose in, sit there and sprayed the top side of them, let them sit for a couple of days so they can come out. Um, here's the driver's side heater. As I said before, I just pulled mine out. I, I knew I wasn't putting heat in again, but uh, if you need to keep heat, you might want to be a little more careful than I was. So um, The seats coming out, pretty easy to take the seats out. They just slide in these rails in here. Push the seat forward a little bit. Push this bracket down. Um, you gotta take the pin out, of course. Took the pin out just by a screw. Push this down and the whole thing slides back and out. Uh, and you can take it out. So, Also, going back here, we talked about those uh, seat belt uh, lights and the wires. They just connect up to here. And on that side, as you can see, they just pretty much go up here, wrap around and finish the connection and that sets your light off or not. Uh, little wires popping through. You'll see this also at the top. Remember those battery wires I showed you that were on the driver's side? They came through. Um, you'll disconnect some of these. Mine were coated in uh, liquid electrical tape, so it was a pain to get them off, but they came off. Uh, here on these sides, I showed you on the body for a half second, I think. These are the chassis to body bolts, nine on each side. Okay. They'll have a little bracket on the back side, so you got to take all of these off on this side as well as that side. So get them all off and they'll fasten, as you can tell, down here. So they'll bolt from the bottom. You'll see where the bracket used to be. Just one bolt straight through, pull it off. Luckily all mine came out, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, on the back, I showed you under the rear fender. Here's where it bolts through, okay, right here. This one, I'm not sure if there was one in there or not. I didn't have anything. It looks like it's hole drilled for one, but I didn't find it inside the car at all, so I'm just assuming it's not there or got lost. Also, you get to move out the throttle cable for your carburetor. It goes through the firewall, so you've got to pull that out or else it's going to get hung up, and I don't feel like rewiring that, so... Through the side on this side, you'll see also the same bolt as we said on the other side. So, and here's those battery cables we talked about that are connected up, welded. Uh, so I just had to cut it, but that's fine. When I showed you the heater box on the back, here's the flap I was talking about that will connect up. As you can see, it goes through that metal tube, feeds into the tunnel. You've got to take this out, um, pull it out, disconnect or something because this will connect the body to the chassis and will hang you up when you try to take it apart. So, I also took out my stick shift, just two bolts, it's a manual, four, 
because uh, it wouldn't have cleared the back side of the car without it. Um, I had like about a sixteenth of an inch off. So I just went ahead and unbolted that and put it back, put the bolts back in so I wouldn't lose it. Other than that, there's the only other thing I can think of is the speedometer cable. It runs straight through here. You'll see a little hole, a little, yep, right there. It pulls through. You've got to pull that out so that you don't get hung up here. And it just feeds through. It pulled out pretty quickly once I had the hubs off anyway. So you will have to take this apart so you can get to that bolt and take it out. So um, nothing with the gear shift. And clutch is all inside here. Engine's already out and been sent off, so I can't show you that. I'm trying to get it uh, measured up, see how I am in tolerances. So that's about it. Feel free to send me an email or shoot me a post on YouTube. And I hope this helps some of you guys out there. If you got any questions, just let me know. Thanks.